right here on Seven. We're going to take you out to the men's artistic gymnastics now, where we'll be seeing the favourites China up, up against the uh, Athens gold medalist, the Japanese, in the fifth rotation. But a quick word about the new scoring system, because 17 is the new 10. Like diving and ice skating, gymnasts are now judged on both difficulty and execution, with a maximum of seven points for difficulty and 10 for the execution. The fifth rotation starts on rings for Japan with Kohei Uchimura. Young fella's done a great job so far today. Considering he hasn't even competed at a world championship yet, he's doing remarkably well. You just think for a 19-year-old, that strength is probably still to come as well. Definitely. In the years ahead. A pike and a tuck, Johansson. Nice, nice opening work. routine. Thinks maybe he could have done a little better, but Kohei Uchimura has done his team proud today. Now, Dimit Dimitri Karbanenko, I think he shaved the mow off. He had that in training the other day. It's come off. Karbanenko, I think, must be one of the oldest performers here, 35 years of age. Originally competed for Russia, moved to France in 1997, competing at world level since 1993. And a very well performed handspring double front. Bit of a hop on the landing. So for any 35 year olds watching out there, do not try that at home. Don't think that you still got a chance of getting into an Olympics. He's a trained professional. Just didn't quite peak at the right time. Still rotating when he hit the ground. Jordan Yovchev we'll see later on in rings as Dimitri posts a 16-125. Very good first fault. A 14-675 for Kohei Uchimura. Now his teammate on rings. It's Takuya Nakase. back to cross. Johansson, which is a double front with a piped position. And double front, double back rather, tucked and piked. Kazorgi. So he's got plenty of difficulty in there. Nice landing as well, Takuya Nakase. Very strong on this apparatus, the Chinese. This is Yang Wei. Tremendous score before on rings. A little hesitation there.
very good height as he came through on that to pelt. Just throws skills like they're going out of fashion. Mm. He has been so consistent and the amount of stamina required to get through this many skills on a parallel bars routine is uh, quite something. Ooh, but it happens to the best of them. Yeah. That will definitely cost him. So apart uh, from those last two little bits, he's not happy. But it won't harm him personally. He'll definitely get through to the all-around final. It won't harm the team. This is qualifications. And uh, if it's going to happen, maybe better now than later. And you just wonder, though, don't you, that it just places that little seed of doubt in his mind. He's looked so good so far. we will see it here, perhaps. Now, that's the dismount. By that time, that little bit of damage had been done. 15-3-5, it's still a very, very good score. An A score of seven. Takuya Nakase, 15-2-7-5 for his performance on rings. Now, on parallel bars, Hong Zhu. Finalist on parallel bars in Athens. Sorry, in Sydney. When they catch her, the double soldiers should be quite smooth, and that's what the Chinese show. The strength to do that move there. Even his double pikes open out a little before he hits the bar with his upper arms. Oh, almost a little mishap there. Manages to recover it. Good. I'd have to say that they're performing a slightly under what I would have expected on this apparatus. Li Xiaopeng. He's the man on this apparatus. Hasn't been competing at world level for a couple of years due to injury, but he's got an impressive record. Has won six world or Olympic medals on parallel bars. Lee Xiaopeng, the gold medalist in Sydney, he's back. And for Huang Xiu, a 16-0-7-5. Very solid, but they're very pleased with their teammate. Great depth in this Chinese team. Lots of experience and some youngsters coming through as well. Just love the way he opened out on that dismount. That's experience. Li Xiaopeng. One more rotation to go. Oh, I was wrong. It's a 16-4-2-5. Tremendous score from this experienced and wonderful athlete. And China, they roll on 63.3 for parallel bars. Their combined score with one apparatus to go unless something horrible happens. 
they will finish with the number one team ranking. And we will have more gymnastics for you later on tonight. But coming up next, we've got some basketball featuring the almighty US women's team. You're watching the games of the 29th Olympics.